Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Research Talks. On this channel, we try to use simple language to explain the complex and difficult terminologies and definitions that are used in research methodology. So today, we want to describe four ways that you can use to know if your research topic is researchable. And the easy way to know that is to be able to pinpoint what aim exactly is this research trying to achieve or what purpose does this research serve. So there are four different purposes that academic research can serve. The first one is we might do a research to describe a situation, a phenomenon, an issue, a community, a culture, a concept, whatever it might be. A, a, a research that is done to describe is said to be a descriptive study. So descriptive study aim at describing. And I will give you an example. A good example of descriptive study is when you have uh, an issue or a phenomenon such as domestic violence. So somebody can say, I want to describe the effect of domestic violence on children. So in that case, you'll be providing how uh, you you'll be providing the description of how domestic violence affect children. When you do that, you are doing a descriptive study. The second purpose might be you want to explore. So a researcher that is exploring an idea or a phenomenon or a concept is said to be doing a, an exploratory study. So exploratory studies try to study opinion or perception of certain group of people and see how they understand the issue, uh, the, the, the subject matter here. So when you, let's continue on the example of domestic violence. You might say you want to understand uh, the victims, uh, domestic violence from the perspective of uh, victims. So in that case, you are defining domestic violence, its impact, its effect from the perspective of victims. So you are doing in that when you do that you are doing an exploratory study the third purpose is to do a research that examine relationship between two or more issues or two or more phenomena or two or more concept when you do that you are doing correlational study so correlational studies tends to explain the connection the association the relationship, the, the uh, nexus between two or more issues. So in the case of descriptive and exploratory, you only focus on one issue. But when it comes down to correlational study, you can have two or more. So let's continue on the, 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 uh, the domestic violence example. Uh, in the case of domestic violence, uh, a researcher might say, I want to see the connection between domestic violence and uh, psychological well-being. Or I, might, I want to see you know, the connection between domestic violence and poverty. So in this case, you have two issues so that you are trying to see maybe they are related, right? So to move, for, uh, to move ahead is to say you want to do explanatory study. So explanatory study tends to explain the why, the why behind the relationship. So correlational can only confirm if the, the, the two issues are connected or are related. But when it comes down to explanatory, you go ahead to explain why the implication of these two relationships. And maybe sometimes you want to see the direction of the relationship. So you can say uh, is the, the relationship between uh, uh, domestic violence 
and poverty, is it positive or negative? Or uh, domestic violence and psychological well-being, is it a negative relationship or positive relationship? I know uh, positive and negative relationship that I'm talking about might be uh, somewhat uh, complex terminology, but uh, in future segments, we will try to simplify them as well. But to recap, aim whatever topic you are coming up with to achieve one of the four purposes. The first one is to describe. Write your research topic in a way that tends to describe an issue. and Or you can try to explore. Remember when you are exploring, it might be because you want to study certain opinion, certain uh, perce perception, or so on. Or you can try to examine the connection between two or more issues. Or finally, you can explain the reason why uh, this relationship exists or, or not. So there you have it, the four purposes of academic research. Uh, if you like what you have just watched, uh, we invite you to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, uh, click on the notification button, follow us on Facebook for more videos like this, and also spread the word so that many, many, many more people can benefit from understanding uh, research and understand how to do academic research. Thank you and see you in our next video. Goodbye.